This is my phone. It's the Google Pixel 2 XO. And I've been rocking it for like four months now, five? I've been rocking it for a while without a case. And yeah, that's pretty risky. Anyway, if I drop this, it wouldn't go well. I dropped it once or twice actually. Uh, there's a few dinks on it, but good thing nothing cracked. I crowdfunded, or I helped crowdfund a case. It's called the Deep Brands Grip, and I have it with me here now. It finally showed up. I'm also kind of in a rush right now because I have to get to college. Oh, hey, look, free skin. Keep that for later. I don't really want to put it on right now. I have to go somewhere. Oh, very nice packaging. Look at that. Cool looking lines. Very, uh, it's very sleek. I'm gonna make a video about this and post it up on Friday, which it will already be available by the time that you're watching this vlog. Um, so I'm not gonna really go too far into depth in this video. This is cool. Look at that. And, oh look, this is the case right here. And it's a good fit. Buttons feel great. My phone feels so much bigger though. Hmm. I'm gonna test this for the rest of the week. Actually, I'm just gonna keep it on forever. You see that? That's the weather for today, which is Monday. You know what? I'm not gonna complain. It was a lot worse a few hours ago. But now I have to go off to college. And also this tripod is totally falling apart. Oh, this place is always such a mess. I gotta do some quick cleaning. These things usually have a designated spot. But I don't have to remember where they all go. Um, D-Brand stuff stays on the side, by the way. D-Brand's D -brand's grip case video coming this Friday, or last Friday. Um, yeah, feel free to watch that video if you haven't already watched it. I'll put it as a link in the corner right there. But so far in my two days of testing, and I'm gonna record the review like probably right after this segment, but so far, I'm actually quite liking it. Not initially, I didn't, but you kind of grow into it, I guess. Or learn to put up with all the nuances. There, that's better. It seems like in every one of these vlogs, I'm always opening a new package, and it never occurred to me how many packages I get every week. Kind of surprises me, actually. Um, so I know exactly what both of these are. I've been expecting them. Uh, one of them is particularly exciting, but let me first go for this one. They're just shades. Yeah, I kind of got tired of using those freebie shades and I thought I'd get myself some. This is not even anything expensive. It's like, I don't know, it's some generic $20 Wayfarers. How do I look? Okay, next item. So this one is a rather expensive product that I didn't buy. Um, it was sent to me so I could make a video about it. This is an open invitation, by the way. I love it when companies send me stuff to make videos about because that way I get to create content for free. You know, you guys get content to watch the company gets a video and I get to make a video for free. It's like a win-win, although sometimes I might not like the product. Uh, here it is. Big box for this. So this is a mouse, actually. It's probably the most unique mouse I have ever seen because it doesn't look anything remotely like a mouse. I don't actually know too much about this product, I just know that they want me to make a video about it uh, in my own creative way, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Next week, this is gonna be this coming Friday's video for you guys. It'd be next Friday for me. It looks really interesting. I'm actually really excited to try this out, to be honest. Anyway, that's a sneak peek for next week or this later this week for you guys. Um, I should film my phone stuff now because there's still sunlight out and I do want to do a drop test. That might have to wait for tomorrow actually, but regardless, I should work on the video today because I'm not going to get a bunch of time tomorrow and time is everything. I don't have a lot of it these days. That's going to change though. College is ending in a couple of weeks. College lectures anyway. Um, I still have exams, but not too worried about that. Main camera check, GoPro check, microphone check, secondary microphone check, recorder check, and quick release plate check. Right, I'm missing the tripod. Kind of racing against the clock here, because the sun sets soon and I have to go outside and get some footage. So I'm packing up now.
turn. Okay, so since I'm a small channel, not a sponsored video, I don't have a spare phone to throw around. So I'm making this demonstration using my own Pixel 2 XL. Here goes nothing. Turn on the studio lights. Do you ever feel like you're being productive, but then you don't feel like you're being productive? I don't know if that really made sense, but that's kind of how my week went. Um, I've been kind of procrastinating a little bit, but then also doing work. This needs to be opened because I'm making a video about it this coming Friday, for this coming Friday. And it's by Fresco Ergonomics. And here it is. It is pretty big for a mouse, I think anyway. And this is a roller. So now comes the part where I try to figure out how to use this thing. Oh, you can click by tapping this down. Here's the manual, quick user's guide. Should I read the user's guide? I feel like that's not as much fun. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it right in. Okay, the mouse is plugged in and set up. Let's see how it works. Okay, the mouse is mo Yeah, that's pretty cool. So it kind of works the way I predicted it to be, and wow, this is really unique. Yeah, like I said, it's very unique. I'm gonna have to spend some time uh, with this mouse to actually form an opinion on it. And I think in order to do that, I'm going to edit this vlog using only this mouse. I'm gonna keep this other one away from me on the other table. Anyway, that's it for this segment of the vlog right now. You know what kind of makes me angry? You see this time lapse that I'm showing on the screen right now? That came straight from the camera, which is great. But I had to pay like $10 to Sony for that feature. It's like I bought a camera that had incomplete features. I don't know, that just doesn't sit well with me. There are a bunch of other ones like tilt shift and I don't even know, like post-processing filters. They all require money and some of them cost like 20 bucks, 50 bucks. That's ridiculous.